Hello everyone, this is Jody, and I am here today to show you my Sam Pool Design Team project. Um, I uh, have made um, a string tied journal. It isn't bound in the sense that it's in a book binding. It is uh, a journal that is kept held together with hemp, and um, I really just love this journal. I I just have had so much fun making it, and it is really a potpourri journal. It is a journal that has sprung from a lot of inspiration from many different journal makers that I have encountered along the way. I would say my first inspiration is Susie of Shabby Soul. I loved her journals when I first discovered them. And uh, I would say the, the very first journals that I saw of hers were string bound journals. And um, it, it is also born out of inspiration by Angie's Happy Mail videos that people have showed, especially Denise's and Heather's. They just, I've been inspired by those. It's been inspired by um, so many friends on this design team I'm on. I just, I'm, and it's also full of some of my own ideas. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna sh start showing it to you. I wanna begin by showing you this cover that I constructed, which is really um, a piece of lace. And what I did was I didn't really want to glue onto this lace. It is sewn on to some watercolor paper and even this little decoration down here which is just a really beautiful old button and some sorry silk and one of Sam's French labels just tucked together. It's it's sewn on to the lace, which is sewn on the watercolor paper because f sort of from a perspective of preservation, I couldn't bear to glue this. I wanted it to be able to be taken apart if someday the lace um, needed to be washed or ironed, whatever. Um, anyway, I, I did make this sort of neat little jacket for the journal to wear and it sort of keeps it together for storage purposes. Um, I did use as my um, clasp these great bulldog clips that I aged up and there's two, there's one on the back and there's one on the front and I did string sorry silk through the holes so that they could easily be removed. And you just really only need to open one and remove the jacket and place it to the side. Um, so here is the journal and my original intention in making this journal was to call it the Woodlanders. And I did actually take um, a little bit of the actual novel, The Woodlanders by Thomas Hardy. And after many, many stops and starts, um, Sam put out a recent kit and uh, called Garden Memories. And lo and behold, there was this wonderful picture that takes place in a woodland of a mother with her children. And it was just perfect for my cover piece, which is actually removable. The cover is a very, um, it's a piece of embossed watercolor paper, which I have like attached to a linen napkin. And the picture does come out of this envelope that I covered. It is a window envelope that I did cover and I've just placed that picture in there like that. And that is very simple cover. It's very, very simple in nature. And when you open up the journal, there, I'm gonna tell you that this journal is made from many, many different bits and pieces of all kinds of a potpourri of sample kits. Um, my main focus was gonna be the Woodland kit, but um, I, I decided I wanted to make this a journal of ephemera and um, not real ephemera necessarily. It's mostly sample ephemera that's been, I've tried my best to age to make it look like real ephemera. 
in this front pocket, I've had these two tags hanging down from attached to the linen and the pocket is is um, it has two pictures that um, this picture is has a lovely um, tea stained back piece of linen at the top and then this picture I've just sort of uh, had some leftover paper from um, I think the portrait de femme kit of Sam's and um, I just sort of wadded it up and stapled this picture, another woodland picture to that piece of paper and tucked it into this net pocket that I made. Um, stick it down in there. And then um, on this page, this is one of the, um, this page is one of the pieces from the French Bureau kit, which is one of my favorite for for bases, I love using the French Bureau kit to get ephemera to use to age up, but I decided to turn this one into a pretty sturdy page. And on the page, I did make this little, this is a real pansy that I uh, pressed from my flower box. Here is one of the Portrait des Femmes um, journaling cards. I love her. She's she actually, I think I'm going to use her in a Halloween book, but I love her. She's very haunting. And then this is from the French Greens kit. And what I did was I took the front of an envelope that she had um, in a scan and then the back and I put them together and made a whole envelope. And, and then what I put inside the envelope was some of her uh, Polaroids with the lovely the lovely old um, uh, vignettes that she's created. And just a little piece from, um, this is from Still Life. Um, I love this music, I love the font, and I just put those together in this faux old envelope that I sort of created, and I did, I did line it with um, an invoice, um, or actually I printed it printed on the back of it from an, from an invoice. And um, let me see if I can get it in here without it being caught. And then I've just put those together like this. And I tied a little crinkle bow at the bottom and just stuck that on this French bureau piece. And then of course this, this piece uh, right here comes from the woodland kit. I love the woodland kit. I do love the woodland kit. Um, give me a second. I'm going to pause for just a second. My, my battery is running out. Okay, so this page right here does come from the woodland kit. My original intention was to make primarily woodland, but I just, I just had to include all kinds of ephemera, for instance, I used one of the French pay envelopes and folded it up and um, just to make it look like somebody stuck their pay envelope into their journal. Here's one of the, um, the lovely Polaroid ephemera pieces that Sam has. I love those pictures and I've never really used them extensively, but I really tried with this journal to use them. And this lovely lady she comes from the honeybee kit and I just adore her. And I gave her this really pretty lace uh, pocket and attached a stamped, um, a stamped tag. And here I put in here, these, this I made and my last project, which was my snippet book. And I took her out, it's her little mini me. And I thought that was fun to put her mini me in the pocket and just a, a coffee stained, very simple tag with some pressed violets on there. And then when you turn the page, the back of this page um, is actually just a piece of corrugated cardboard, which I've placed a um, one of Sam's um, invoices from the French greens. It's a really pretty one. It's a really beautiful greeny blue color. And then 
I just had so much fun filling these pages up with all sorts of things. Um, for instance, just a scrap of embossed watercolor paper, just a bit of old ephemera, um, a music sheet. This is a hymn from my hymn book. And what I did was it's white and I printed it with some foxing. And um, then the other thing I took, I did was, this is one of, um, these are one of Sam's kit. They, these come by themselves and I just love these tags. They're like receiving tags and, um, or bills of lading kind of. And I will list below all of the different kits I use. There's a whole bunch. So I need to go back and find all the kits I use. And then just this pretty piece of green paper. That's some paper that I just love and I just sort of have hanging around. I just thought it looked pretty, all sort of sort of stacked up on itself. And um, I just put, I put this little girl, I'm gonna get this, it's stuck to this uh, net. There we go. Um, and I love this picture of this little girl right here. And what I did was, Here's one of my inspiration pieces. Um, this is a lovely Lottie's inspiration. I love the way she just bundles up net and just sort of attaches it to her pictures. I'd say this journal is just sort of an homage to all the kinds of inspiration that I have derived from other creators. And it's been really fun just sort of going through and, and making things that I have seen in other people's work and I just do want to give you know expression to it and and give um credit to all the people that have inspired me now this is an old envelope it isn't in one of Sam's kits this is actually an old envelope of mine which I I scanned and I recreated um in the envelope I have a glassine bag and it is a little a little um notepad that I made. Here's a check from one of Sam's kits and um, just bits and pieces of cast off papers. For instance, this is a piece that didn't print properly and so I just tore it up. Here's also, this is from the Woodland kit. I love that word, Jardin. And here's another, another bit of a check. And I just made that into a little notepad, stuck it in this vintage glassine bag. And then what I did was I just sort of stuck it up into this envelope and it hangs out a bit. On the back of the envelope, I did construct another, um, I took, this was a um, packing from something I got, and it's old vintage paper and it was all torn up. So I just crumpled it up and attached one of Sam's, um, my collection photos, put a little piece of mica over it and it actually is a tuck spot. You could actually tuck something in there if you wanted to. For instance, it works, it would be a great place to tuck just a little something. But this is another one of the Portrait des Femmes pictures, just crumpled up a little lace and sewed it across the top. And so I've just attached those two things to the back of that envelope. Here's just a, a little um, bit of embossed paper. Um, similar to the cover and I made this this is a tag that I made from um, the still life mutes sheet music put a little net pocket on it and I love the back of this this beautiful French green it's so lovely and another little glassine envelope with um, a check from the French invoices they're just it's a really lovely one and I stamped one of Sam's stamps on the back of it it's a really nice little beautiful old check and I tried to make everything up here just about as vintage as I possibly could because um, I wanted it to lend itself to even if you don't have lots of old French ephemera you can make it and you can get the same effect in your journal by just age taking the time to age things now here is this was tucked to the back like that 
And here is some of Sam's stamps, just stamped on some old book page. Um, another pansy from my window box. And I pressed it between a piece of mica that I, I separated and then I put it in between the two sheets and then I um, glued, it, glued it down. Here's another journaling card from the Portrait de Femme. It's a really, really pretty, pretty journaling card. I love the journaling cards that come in that kit. Now here is, just so you know my intention, how you, you, know, you start out making a journal and you think you know what you wanna do. This is what I wanted to do. This was going to be the cover of my journal. If you'll take a look at it. I had this paperback book, that's what inspired this. The Woodland Kit, designed by Sam, and then I had this paperback book, The Woodlanders, and I love that picture. I just think it's so lovely. So I made this, and this was going to be the cover, but I, I just, it just wasn't working for me. I liked to have the cover be a little bit smaller than the pages. I wanted the pages to sort of all stick out in a layered kind of a look. So I put it in the book, and I love it, and I covered it with some netting, gathered up, and just like with the cover that I sewed on so it could be washed and removed, all the lace on here has been sewn on. It hasn't been glued down. The button is sewn on. All this is sewn on, or this, in this instance, this is pinned on with this rough, rusty safety pin, this clump of lace, and this clump up here with the button. It's all sewn down. So it, it's not permanent. It could all come off and, and be used by someone or washed if it ever got dirty. You turn the page and here is another little pocket made from vintage lace, a little bit of coffee filter ruffle there. And it's packed. And here's the, um, the uh, title page of my paperback book. And I just love the simplicity of that. And I stuffed this with a vintage letter. I did want to put at least some vintage pieces in here. This is a really old vintage letter uh, from 1943. And um, then here's one of Sam's wonderful pictures that I backed with tea stain paper. And I did put a lot of um, distress ink on it. I love the, the effect it had of making it look even older and one of Sam's wonderful Polaroids. And then this is something I got from Morisita. It's an old, um, an old French telegram, which I was able to copy and reproduce. It's not the original, but I, I copied it onto newspaper paper, that gray newspaper paper, and it came out really good. It looks just like the original. Only difference is it's a little bit sturdier. The original is very, very fragile. And then this is a frame that I have in my digital stash, and I use it a lot. I really love it. And I co covered the um, opening with some mica, put a little bit of coffee stained Sorry Silk up there. And then here is from um, Garden Memories, I believe. It's just the loveliest piece of paper. And I love these two little girls. I um, turned them into a pocket. Here's another one of the Portrait des Femmes ladies. Isn't she wonderful? She, she could also be Halloween. I think you're gonna see her in my Halloween journal. Um, but I made this lovely pocket and in there I have put a vintage invoice which I copied and aged. I tried to age it up in, I tore it, I stained it. I do love the way they it turned out um, and that is actually stuck down in that pocket with her on the back like that. And then this um, this is a page from Woodland. I love this page from the Woodland kit. And I made a little tuck with a, a Tim Holtz um, specimen uh, tag. And then this lovely, lovely picture of a family from the Garden Memories. And I stamped it with, there's a little glare. I stamped it with one of Sam's stamps. And I thought this was so perfect. April 22nd, 1890, it actually looks like it could have really been there. And then I backed it with page from 
The Woodlanders, my novel, my paperback novel that I'm ripping apart to make this journal. And some lovely sorry silk right there. And, and here we are in about the middle of the journal. And um, this is another one of the, the snippets I made for my last project. And she comes from the Honey Bee Kit. I just really adore her. Um, this comes from the Noir Kit. And um, I just love these snippets and how they turned out. These words come from the Portrait de Femme Kit. I, these are my new snippets. You know, I know I've gone on and on in my previous videos about how much I love the snippet collection. Well, this is my new, these are just gonna be as used as the snippets are. This is a little fabric pocket and she fits down in there. And then what I did was, I made a little Velcro spot so that tucks so that this would stay closed. This picture also comes from the Woodland Kit and I just love it. I just love the look of it. And I put a little piece of lace on the back, this really neat old lace, and made a little tuck spot. And of course I included one of my sample staples the little tiny French envelopes. And inside there, I stamped one of Sam's stamps on just a little piece of avocado dyed paper that I had. And it's just like in this little secret tuck spot right here. And it stays together with that little piece of Velcro so that it doesn't flop open all the time. Here's a kind of a half page. And once again, I've used one of my snippets that I made in my last project. So. I mean, the the beauty of the last project was I was able to use it quite extensively in this journal. It just fit right in. Um, this is another uh, piece from the French Bureau. And I turned made that into a tuck spot with a um, tag that I collaged from several different pages from Sam's kits. And here's another one of the French invoices that I copied front and back and tried to age up and make look old. And it it feels, I mean, it's thin. It feels, it has the feel of an old document. I, I just really had fun sort of recreating old documents. Um, this is another old envelope from my own collection that I copied. And I think I did a pretty good job of it had a big tear out of it. Like somebody obviously had saved the stamp and torn it off. And so I just, um, I filled it in. I put it on a little piece of coffee dyed paper. I put some um, special kind of um, raised paper. It's a really neat kind of textured paper. A little bit of sorry silk, a butterfly. And I made this slide of these little children. And this is one of Sam's pictures from one of her my collection. And I love, I just love how this envelope turned out. But inside the envelope is another snippet from my earlier snippet uh, sojourn that I took this earlier this year. And she comes from um, the Woodland Kit. All of this is made from the Woodland Kit. This butterfly comes from something else. but. I just love how that snippet turned out. Um, I added a little net at the back to sort of strengthen that doily I used, but it just fits right in there and I let the word apothecary kind of stick out. Another pansy from my, um, from my, uh, I'm gonna turn up my light here and make it so you can see better. There we go. Um, another pansy from my garden, or not my garden, my window box. Um, and here is a little pocket made from a vintage book page and just a tiny little journal from all the different little bits that I've been sort of tearing about and old pieces of lined paper that you can write on. So here's a little place you can write. And once again, it's made on a page I collage, just tucks up in there. I love this page. This might be, I don't know, there's several pages in here, but this might be my favorite. Um, this page is, this is one of Sam's stamps that I did stamp on. I did stamp on the, um, on some linen. 
And here are, this is my one of my favorite. I think I'm gonna put this in every journal too, this picture of these two sisters. I love this. And this comes from one of Sam's kits, a lavender kit. And then here's a little clump of things that I put together, this tag of the little children. And, and then one of, um, I used one of Sam's photo backs to back that made a faux cabinet card. And here's a piece, piece of um, Welsh hymnal that is my own, that I just love that Welsh hymnal. And, and it goes together like that. And it just sticks back in there like this. And then I place this little bit of lace at the top with some sorry silk and a button. It's a really pretty button. So this page, um, I have a little flip over right here, uh, is a really beautiful piece of lace. Just a really, really pretty piece of lace um, that I've made, you know, a vertical belly band. And then once again, I put a little bit of old ephemera in here that I've made look old. This is something I got in one of a journal that I bought from my friend Leslie of Crescent Moon Journals, and I love it so much. Thank you, Leslie, for this wonderful piece of ephemera. Um, but I've copied it. This is just a copy, and it really did come out nicely as a faux piece of ephemera. But this little bit right here, I do have one of the pieces, the pictures, the Polaroids from Sam's um, this is the new Garden Memories Kit. Oh, I love these Polaroids. I just love them. And I made this little journaling card. It's actually a sort of a flip up. And I just sort of put it over the top here, like that. And this page has another pocket. This comes from Woodland, right? This piece and this bit of lace is just I just love this old netting and once again I just I think I well this one is glued down a little bit uh, here's another one of the snippets I made and another aged um, another aged invoice from Sam's invoices it turned out really nicely I just think it looks really old and one of her Polaroids. I just went to town on the Polaroids this time. I just love them so much. And it's stuck in there with a tag from Woodland. I love that tag. Those eggs are some of my favorite things. Um, and then we have a little half page that is actually a pocket made from one of the invoices with a picture attached from her uh, my collection and another old check that's been made to look old just sticking in there like that and I sort of have it hanging out the edge and I've put one of my my mulberry flowers up there on a piece of old cotton and a teeny snippet of lace and then this is another pocket that's made from vintage French uh, well actually it's not French but it's a vintage newspaper and oops, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to knock you. And another snippet that I made this earlier this year and more of my Welsh book. And then just, this was something I'd torn off one of the uh, invoices when I was working with it. And I just thought it'd be a fun little grouping like that with that picture of those three sisters. I think of them as sisters. Here's another pansy from my window box. And here is another one of my my new staples from the Portrait des Femmes, the word Paris. I love those words. I love words. I love working with words. I love cutting out words. Um, and then inside the pocket, I made, this is an Angie inspired piece. She um, made, took one of these long envelopes from Denise's shop, um, a, a Tattered Dream, and she covered it and then had a piece of, um, this is a piece of script paper from one of Sam's kits um, underneath and then placed, glued on top of it, another piece of paper and then tore out the middle. I've loved that for so long. I've been dying to make that and it's a, a really nice envelope. I haven't stuffed it yet, but it's 
it's a really, that was a really fun thing to make when I was making this journal. And then we're getting towards the end. Here is, this is, I love to, sometimes I love to put in pictures of my family. This is my grandpa and my grandma climbing on a rock in Wisconsin when they were courting. I love that picture. And a crossword puzzle and another little bit of snippet just from the things I've been working with. I just put, tore some, took the edges of pages of pa pieces of paper and just stuck them together, sewed them together. This is a pocket made from the woodland kit, from the egg, that egg um, paper. I love that egg. And I've tucked a slide in here with a, a chur an apple blossom sticker and it does tie. And when it opens up, this is inspired by my friend Rhonda, a little bit French. I was inspired by her little books that she makes. And so I put together a little mini journal, did all of the different Sam Poole stamps in the mini journal. I recently got some of these from Rhonda and I love them so much. This is a copy of some old paper that I have and it turned out really good. I copied it on this, um, I just copied it on some sort of linen-y paper and it just looks old. It looks just like the old piece of um, of ephemeral that I, that I actually have. And um, here's a pretty stamp that I got in a collection of stamps. And then this is the very last page. This is another Angie inspired idea. Um, this is a, a bag. Um, on the bag, I did make this little tuck spot from the Portrait Day Femme kit. And I took one of Sam's um, French letters and printed it off and folded it up like you would a French letter, stuck it in that little pocket. Here's a, one of the Portrait des Femmes ladies. I just love these ladies. They're so pretty. And then in this bag, I made a sort of a document folded up thing, you know, where you tie the document. And it's just all different kinds of papers and checks from Sam's kit. Here's a bit of woodland. Here's a bit of blank. Um, tea dyed paper and then one of my favorite um, bits of sheet music from Sam's Kits. And on the back of this, this Rhonda of a little bit French, she also loves this piece of paper. I adore this piece of paper. And I've been, I use it quite a bit, but I mostly use this number 19. I tend to cut it out and use it. Um, but I just love the way that little folded up bunch of paper turned out stuck it in that in that bag and then the back is just a bit of fr from the French greens kit and that is the end of it that is the end of the journal I had a lot of fun making this journal um, I love the way you can use Sam's digitals to recreate um, to recreate ephemera when you don't actually have the ephemera yourself. You can take her invoices and her checks and her pay envelopes and and her French bureau papers and you can make them look as old as if you actually have that old piece of French ephemera. And, and that's the beauty of this craft. Um, it's lovely to have the old stuff, but if you don't have the old stuff, just make it yourself and take pleasure in what you've created. So um, that's my project, guys. I'm sorry if this video turned out to be so long. This this um, this journal actually just kept going and going and going. And finally, like literally yesterday, which was Tuesday, this is Wednesday. Um, I finally had to make myself stop. I'm like, Dodie, stop. You've got you've got enough in this journal. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you will 
try to make your own ephemera as well. And I apologize for some of the quality of this video. I'm sorry the sun went away and it got so dark, but I'll try to lighten it up. Um, thanks everybody. Thanks so much for watching and shout out to all my teammates. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.